All right, everybody, we are back from our run. We are refueled, rehydrated, stretched out. So let's talk about the Hoka Carbon X2. This is what I ran in today for some marathon pace miles. Um, again, it was a nine mile run with the six miles at marathon pace. Now I've had these shoes for quite a bit and I haven't wore them a whole lot because I just got back into marathon training. So let's talk about the shoe. Carbon race shoe. Here's the bottom. They are dirty because I did run on some very wet roads today. Super light. These weigh 7.8 ounces. Heel stack is a 39 millimeter. Forefront is a 34. So you've got this nice taper going on and the carbon plate inside, obviously. Um, these are significantly uh, more durable, I think. Then the Nike Next Percent up here, I felt a lot more support both on my ankle and my foot. It didn't feel um, as shifty as with the Nike Next Percents that I that I wore before. Um, kind of that similar style with that return for that foam cushion. I did not honestly feel a huge energy return as compared to the Nike Next Percent. The Those shoes honestly just feel like you're kind of moon bouncing around like on a trampoline which is great for energy return that springiness these don't have it as much however i think for a marathon for a half marathon racing the energy return is great but you still get a little bit more support for your foot so if you're someone who's going to pronate a lot um, i think hoka is a great option for a carbon race shoe um, just with stability for your foot. They retail around 180, which is significantly cheaper than the Nike Next Percent. Um, almost, well, not quite $100, but it's quite a bit difference. And as opposed to spending that kind of money on a, on a running shoe or your race shoe, they're very comparable. This, uh, this is a, great brand. I really got into Hoka's uh, this past year with all the upgrades they've done with their shoes. And I love them. I was a huge Brooks fan and now I'm kind of shifting away from Brooks. Got a whole nother great video coming up for their brand new trail shoes. So stay tuned for that. But for racing shoes, running shoes, I've just, I've really geared towards Hoka's. Um, you get a lot of cushion but without heaviness without a lot of weight like i said they're they're 7.8 ounces so they're a super light shoe and they felt really good i was running on very wet roads today it actually was raining while i was running no slipping the next percents with nike um i did notice there was when it was wet and you had kind of a a slicker surface on the road i would skid a little bit there's a steep downhill uh before i get into the straighter stretch and it almost felt like i would lose traction with next percents these not at all um they are nice flat bottom but you don't really have that grippy like a like a um a shoe that you're going to do a recovery run in but there was no slipping whatsoever and the roads were were really wet. So that was a huge plus because racing, you know, if it's a, it's a rainy day and you're doing those turns to, for an out and back or on a loop course, then you don't want to be skidding out and wiping out in front of everyone. So that's always not a good thing. These, no skidding, no, no traction issues whatsoever. I would not use these on a rail to trail surface or a gravel road. Um, we have a little side shoot off where there is one. They just, they don't feel right. They, they're they too flat here. Um, it just, don't use these for a rail to trail race. Use these for a road race, for road running, treadmill, etc. So, honestly, I do like Nike Next Percent for racing. Um, they're great. They're light. They're fast. They're springy. But I do love the Hoka's. The carbon, the carbon ones they've got now. The Carbon X. This is Carbon X two again. I go for it. Personally, this is gonna be 
my choice probably for the marathon and yeah i just i think for the price at under 180 it's a great value and a great shoe for your next big race so thanks for tuning in and i will see you guys again with our next shoe review have a good day